Interestingly, interest rates have gone up, and you may be interested in buying a home, but those high interest rates haven't piqued your interest. So you're interested in learning about an interest-only mortgage to find out more about only paying interest on your home loan. Does that sound interesting? What's up folks? Today we're gonna to talk about interest-only mortgages, what they are, an example with the difference in cost compared to a typical mortgage, and why you may or may not want one. First, let's talk about what an interest-only mortgage is, and in order to talk about what an interest-only mortgage is, let's talk about the traditional mortgage that a majority of people use. Typically, when someone goes and buys a home, they're putting a down payment down towards that property, and then they're getting a loan from a lending institution, like a bank, who will finance the remainder of the purchase. But in order for the bank to finance the remainder of the purchase, you have to pay them back. And that typically comes from a traditional 30-year mortgage. And that loan typically comes in a monthly installment that you're going to pay over those 30 years. Part of the amount of money that you're paying every single month will come in the form of principal, which will help build your equity. And then the other part will go towards interest or making the bank money. And as time goes on and your balance of your loan goes down and down because you're paying more and more principal and you owe the bank less money based on what they loaned to you in the first place, then the amount of principal that you pay every single month will increase and the amount of interest that you pay every single month will decrease. So over time as you own a home, each payment that you're making will go more and more towards building your equity, but up front you're paying more interest than you are in equity that you're building, but in the latter half, the opposite happens. Interest-only mortgages are as they sound. You are actually just paying interest only back to the bank rather than paying principal as well. So your principal balance isn't decreasing as you are making payments and you are just paying interest. And typically an interest-only mortgage has a three to 10 year period in which you are only paying interest. And then after that initial period is over, you start paying principal and interest again. The other big difference with an interest-only mortgage compared to a typical 30-year mortgage is that with a typical 30-year mortgage, your payment of principal and interest will stay the same the entire time. Even though the amount of principal and interest will change, that total number will stay the same. With an interest-only mortgage, during your interest-only period of that three to 10 years, you are going to have a smaller payment than you would for that 30-year period. But after that three to 10-year period is over, your interest-only mortgage will turn into a principal and interest mortgage. And remember, for those first three to 10 years, we weren't paying off any principal, but now we are going to start paying off principal, so our monthly payment will increase. And similarly to a typical 30-year mortgage, your interest-only mortgage will come either with a fixed rate or an adjustable rate mortgage. One thing to definitely note about an interest-only mortgage, even though you're gonna have a lower monthly payment for the first three to 10 years of your loan, depending on the type of loan that you get, is you are not paying down any principal, which could potentially mean not building any equity. So there is possibility that the housing market goes down in value and you still have that same amount of principal. So the amount of money that you owe on your mortgage is greater than what your property value is actually worth, which is potentially true for a 30 year mortgage as well. But you have more risk of running into that with an interest only mortgage because you aren't paying down any principal. Three reasons why it might actually make sense for you to get an interest only mortgage because of the way the payment schedules work, you may be in a position where you know you're going to be earning more money later on. So today when the monthly payment is lower than it would be if you got a traditional 30-year mortgage, you know you're confident in being able to cover that. And let's say at the end of that three to 10 year period, you'll start making a lot more money and then know you can cover that principal and interest payment after that period. So it could make sense if you know that your income is going to increase after that interest only period is over. So this could be true if you're finishing something like a degree or a training program or some other type of certification where at the time that you are trying to gain that certification, you aren't making a ton of money, but you know later on that you will make a lot more money. It could also make sense if you have a good amount of equity in your home and you wanna take that extra monthly cash flow that could have gone towards that 30 year mortgage, but because you got an interest only mortgage, you have a lower monthly payment and you can take that excess and then put it into an other investment and have that investment grow. And the third reason is because you might have flexible income. You may be working at a job that is built heavily on commission and some months you may have very low income so you're comfortable with paying a lower payment and other months you may have really high income and you'd be more comfortable with paying a higher payment then. Now I'm going to break down an actual example with numbers of what it might look like if you bought a home and it had a 30 year mortgage versus what it would look like if you bought a home and it had an interest only mortgage and what the numbers would look like there. So let's say you buy a home and end up having a loan of $360,000 at a 5 
6.25% interest rate. That would leave you with a monthly mortgage payment for the entirety of those 30 years of roughly $1,987. And if we got that exact same loan at that exact same interest rate with an interest only mortgage, and in this example, we're going to assume that we have a 10 year interest only payment period. Our payment would only be $1,575 for the initial interest only payment. With that, the difference between a traditional mortgage with principal and interest and your interest only mortgage on the first 10 years of your loan is that you have $412 a month in savings if you took an interest only loan option. After that interest only period of the first 10 years is completed, our monthly payment is going to change for our interest only mortgage because we now are paying both principal and interest. So after that 10 year period, starting in the first month after 10 years, your payment will be $2,425.84. That means your payment now will be $438.84 more than that traditional principal and interest only mortgage. And that's for the last 20 years of your mortgage for interest only compared to the last 20 years of your mortgage for principal and interest. So we can see with those simple numbers with an interest only mortgage that you would pay less now and then pay more later. But let's go into a few more pros and cons of why you might get an interest only mortgage versus why you may not. First, some pros of an interest only mortgage. And the first one would be that you can make extra principal payments. So just because you have an interest only period does not mean that you can't make payments towards principal. So you may have that $1,500 $75 a month payment, but you could pay extra to pay down your principal if you choose to do so. So you have that flexibility. Another pro and one that we've obviously seen with this example is that you're going to have cheaper monthly payments during this interest only period. The other great thing is that you can invest the excess cash flow that you would have for those first 10 years during your interest only mortgage period payment. Obviously there are cons and it is a bit more of a risky product than a traditional 30 year mortgage. The first con would be that you are paying more interest back to the bank over time. So even if you're able to diligently invest and put that money in the stock market and get those rates of return, you will still over time be paying more interest back to the bank because you're paying interest only before you then hit that principal and interest period. The second con would be during the interest only part of the mortgage is that you would not be building any equity from principal pay down. Now we said this earlier in the video, but it can be a risk, especially if you are not building any equity and then markets change. Now it's possible that the market could go up a lot and you'd be totally fine, but that's why it's a bit more risky because you're not sure what the market is gonna do. So with that, there's a greater possibility than with a 30 year mortgage of you being underwater with your mortgage, which essentially just means that the amount that you owe on your loan is greater than the value of the property. So if you tried to sell it, there still would be that excess amount of money that you have to come up with to pay the bank back. And the last con is that obviously after the interest only period is complete, you will have a higher monthly payment than you would if you had that traditional 30 year mortgage. So there are obviously many different pros and cons with an interest only mortgage, but I'm curious to hear from you guys in the comments if you would pick this type of loan if you wanted to actually buy your own home. And make sure that before you make any mortgage decision or any financial decision for that matter, that you don't be afraid to do some math. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening and hopefully you learned something. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you're interested in learning more about personal finance and building your wealth.